Welcome everyone to AEW Elevation. It's Tony Schiavone, Paul White, and the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. As we go to the ring, and Justin Roberts. This body set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Albany, New York, weighing 207 pounds, Bobby Fish. Well, here he is, uh, one of the most successful wrestlers in the world, part of AEW, and a man that, man, you can just look at him and say, he's gonna, he's gonna hit you. I was gonna say, you just look at him and go, what a fantastic mustache. <laughs> well, that's one of the things. And his opponent, Robert Anthony. Well, we've seen Robert Anthony before. He's, uh, he hasn't won a match in AEW, but he has made a great showing. But I tell you, Mark Henry, Bobby Fish will stretch him. Yeah, he will. And his, I think part two of his killing spree is about to start right here. And you can go to the grocery store, but if you don't get any groceries, you're going to be hungry. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> you look at like Bobby Fish, though. He's such a prolific wrestler, as well as a great striker. He's got some great kicks, great fist shots to the face. So, Well, he's been training close to 20 years in mixed martial arts, so. Uh, it's, it's only fitting that yeah, you know he, he has a venue to try all the stuff that he trains at, and then uh, you don't say he's trying to get all the stuff in. I think he's trying to give Robert Anthony some of his the things that he practices in his gym. Well, you know, Bobby Fish from outside in. Well, he's got good sense, that's for sure. Wow! Oh, and they caught him coming out, and now a knife hit chop as well. And throws him back in the rig. Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole, they're all part of AEW now, all friends who have really gone, as they say, down the road together, travel together in an independent circuit. Here they are at AEW together. They are quite a force uh, together or in singles competition. Oh, I like Christine here for Bobby inside Fish. Inside leg kick? Yeah, that's just rude, too. Take a guy off his balance, kick the inside of his leg. Right now, Robert Anthony's going to have a little trouble keeping his balance. He's in no man's land, stuck in that corner now. It's not a good place to be trapped. Robin Anthony is about to have trouble keeping his eyes open. <laughs> Fish Fine. showing his quickness as well, but oh, great drop kick by Anthony oh, that time. Oh, maybe I underestimated him. <laughs> don't look nice. around, man. Yeah, nice elevated drop kick. I'd like to see Robert Anthony get a little bit more aggressive when he sees that upper hand. Sure. You don't want to give a guy like Bobby Fish time to think, right? to plan, to assess where he can strike next. Also, he's he is a fast recovering guy. Like he trains to recover fast. You give him too much of a second, he's gonna he's gonna lash out at you. Yeah, he's called it's called stamina. Yeah. How about this from Anthony? Pretty impressive vertical suplex. Not something you see very often nowadays. Wow. All that blood rush to the head is hard to think straight. That, that takes there not only balance but plenty of strength. There's one. Says Rick Knox. Good core strength, good balance. Taking the fight right here. Hey, watch it. You can see this coming. Oh, right in the spine. What's up? This is a this is a hell of an opening bout here on elevation on this Monday. Yeah, to begin bout. your week. Definitely. You know he's getting an exchange with a striker like Bobby Fish. Oh, know what a smart game plan is. Right away, Bobby Fish just took Robert Anthony's wheels right off from underneath of him. Well, you hit him that outside of that thigh, you can hit that nerve, and you can see right then when he did it, his leg just went completely numb. He could barely put any weight on it. Look at Bobby, he's got the leg wrapped. There's a leg whip right into the turnbuckle. The old dragon screwed leg whip into the turnbuckle, and Robert Anthony is down and Fish hovering over him. Look at the red mark on Fish's back where he got kicked in the spine. Yeah, man. That's going to leave a mark. Oh. Yeah, it did leave a mark. Would you call me? <laughs> My friend. <laughs> My friend. Okay, this is a receipt right here. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> and to cover one, two, and Anthony got out of it in two. Man, let's give it Anthony some props here. Like, he's 0 and 6 in, in, here in AEW, and he's putting up a really good fight against one of the premier wrestlers in this company. There he is. You see the counter. Bobby Fish missed with a high kick, come back with a mule kick right in the, right in the bread basket. Makes it hard to get a breath. We know if you can't breathe, you can't fight. Great opening bout here on elevation. These two are just going at it, man. It's turning into a real slugfest. Yeah. Caught him. 
fish. Oh, a fish drilled him in the face with that one. That Keeps inside going to the inside man. thigh kick, man. That left leg of Robert Anthony's right now is rubber. Nice suplex. I mean, he just got dropped on his head, and he was still holding the leg. And a two count. Robert Anthony stayed with it here, man. Good resilience on Robert Anthony's part. But Absolutely. Right now, you know, Fish is systematically picking him apart. It's like he's getting the shots in when he wants to. Right. Is, is, is he playing with the? Is he playing with his food, or is, does he need to just go ahead and get it done? Sleeper hold applied here, and Anthony just backs up into the corner. Smart. That was smart. You know that, that was real smart, Robert Anthony's part. But you know it's on Fish's part too. I think Fish is using this opportunity to explore. Wow. Oh, right in some gross. different combinations of offensive sets, you know? Looked like an exploder if I'm right, but right yeah. up against the ropes. Oh, he's, I think Fish Whoa, is done. Man. Playing I with think his Fish food, has had guys. enough there. Yeah, yeah he's done. Round kick on the head puts Anthony out. Yeah, he's, he's out. The uh, winner of this match, Bobby Fish. I kind of like what Bobby Fish did there. He picked Robert Anthony apart, started at his lower wheelbase, picked his wheelbase apart. Attacked the upper body, got his good kicks in, got some good throws in. Real good showing by Fish tonight. Who is undefeated here in 2022 in AEW. Next in women's competition on elevation, women's trios tag team action. Diamante, the bunny, Emi Sakura in action. This is a trios tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring, Queen Aminata, Heather Reckless, at Chicago's own Sky Blue. A great elevation for Chicago Zone young star Sky Blue. And her trios. Queen Aminata is a real queen. Yeah, she's a real queen. Not only that, she's really talented. And our first look at Heather Reckless here. And their opponents, Emmy Sakura. The Bunny and Dia Monte. What a trio this is. By the way, remind everybody, this coming Wednesday, Dynamite's going to be live at the historic Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. That's this Wednesday, February 9th. Tickets are now on sale. We also have a Texas death match coming up between world champion Hangman of Page and Lance Archer for the AEW world title. Texas death match. And then don't forget, we'll be in Nashville Wednesday, February 16th. That's in a couple of weeks, or just over a week. We'll be at the historic Nashville Minnesota Auditorium downtown. Good food in that town. Yeah, buddy. Good Nashville. Nashville. Good bar. Nashville. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I want to see some good wrestling, but I want to get some good barbecue and some of that spicy Nashville chicken. I don't know if you ever heard about it. I haven't heard about it. Is it good? Oh, my Lord. Nashville hot chicken. I'm going to buy it for you guys, y'all. We're going to go. Mark, I'm dieting. Would you stop buying me food? You're, you're going to get me 500 pounds again. I don't we got to go to Hattie's. I'm not going to be a quarter ton of fun no more. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, you know that you're at least 385. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Diamante oh. going right after yeah. Sky blue, and that got sky blue seen red. Boy, she's got one heck of a fiery temper, sky blue does. Man, nice takedown. Yeah. Diamante covering up here. Oh, that fight background, she was able to reverse that. That's that 305 attitude coming out. Oh, Whoa. my lord, she just got kicked so hard her mama felt it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Jeez. And here comes uh, the queen. Like I said, a talented young lady. Whoa. How about Queen that? Just I, I, I respect, no respect that overhand chop. 
Not as good as yours. Oh, she well. ran right. Ate a kick. I'm swinging a frying pan for a hand. Yeah. Love Sky Blue how aggressive she is. It turns up that tempo. That's why the fans love her, too. She's exciting to watch. Got those chucks. Yeah, she's, she's wrestling in, in the hot chucks. That's, that's pretty cool. Heather wow. Reckless comes in for the first time. And she got a back elbow, and that knocked right off her feet. Diamani. Man, that was kind of careless and reckless. Well, Heather Reckless found out it was reckless. I see what you did there. And here comes oh, Emi Sakura, goodness. the veteran. Emi Sakura's like, no, 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 I'm not done throwing you around. Come on over here. Little hair beal, if you will. All that experience that Emi Sakura has. Oh. She likes to get in the ring of Moonlight or karaoke skills. Yeah, she loves Freddie Mercury and Queen. Well documented. This and is where you should move. Oh. <laughs> You should move out of the state. That yeah. looked like it hurt. I, I don't think Heather Reckless could move out of the way at that time. Just, yeah. Wow, backbreaker. Right across the knee. One, two. She was going to pull her up. You could see she was reaching for the hair to pull her up, and Sky Blue came in anyway. Yeah, Sky, Sky Blue, Blue is all fire. I love it. Yeah, man, she's been really aggressive more than I've seen her. Oh, There's that veteranship of Emmy Sakura. Look what she did there, tying both of them up together. That's some stuff you only read about in books and hear about in stories. I've never seen anything like that done in the match. Look at this. Queen Amanada and the bunny just dancing around the, cackling. The bunny has no clue what's going on. She just, she just. She's enjoying her soulless joy. Yeah, she's not all there, boys. Yeah, your yeah. soulless is Let's right. her heart. Oh. Look at the bunny step through and want to pick apart. Oh, runs up right after Sky, Sky Blue. Blue. She took down both Sky Blue and Queen Amanada, oh. and now a running lariat. That's that look of the eyes that you talk about. Yeah, and then takes yeah. that tongue that's been pierced and, and wags it at the camera. Well, the tongue wagging doesn't bother me as much as the viciousness that the bunny exudes and the joy that she has in inflicting that viciousness. Did you she see really that enjoys that. Huh? You see that knee lift? Shades of Mr. Wrestling number two. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. That was a, oh, oh, that was a recito. That's exactly what it was. The girls had enough of the bunny, and now we've got all six ladies in the ring here, and it's literally broken down, and look at this. Down the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. All home. three. One, two, three. Aerial winners. Diamante, Emmy Sakura, oh, man. and Hoops Bunny. The she's right. I want to know why Tony Schiavone just flinched. Yeah, she's right out of a horror movie. She's what it is. Tony, you know that she can't bite you through the camera screen. Well, I know, but uh, we're, we're going to go down the rabbit hole again, as you can see, at another angle of it. Boom. That's a great move, that turning elbow. I know a guy that used to do that. Yeah, I think I know where they got it from. Yeah. He invented that move with a guy named Nick Densmore in Louisville. This is Rampage, baby. Y'all ready? AEW Rampage, Fridays at 10 on TNT. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back with Scorpio Sky. This product set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Dan Lambert from Los Angeles, California, weighing 208 pounds, Scorpio Sky. Man, it's hot in here, Mark Henry. It's got a lot of pyro. mentioned how much I hate pyro. Man, you could cook a brisket on that pyro. Wait, Definitely. I thought you guys were talking about all eagle eat the page sitting no, with you guys saying how hot it is. Well, you know, I was just oh, going to get to the I point. I would never refer to you as hot. I would refer to talented. It. All ego page is a uh, hot, talented performer. Thank in you. AEW. Thank you. Some might say hot commodity. Even, hot Mark. commodity. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. And his opponent, Steven Wolf. 
Stephen Wolf making his AEW debut, and we are joined by all ego Ethan Page. That's right. Yes, you are. At the broadcast, handsome as ever. Uh, handsome as ever here at the broadcast position, along with Mark Henry, of course, and, and Paul White. Here's your uh, longtime partner and friend, Scorpio Sky. My bestie. Look how Better quick half. Scorpio Sky ducked under that for that rear waist slot. He's well, ready he's, for everything. He's one of the best athletes in this company. Without a doubt. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, if, if I had to be a bet, if I was a betting man, I would bet that he would be champion within the year. And I guess there's one championship that you guys, I mean, we, we've we seen you eye, and that is that TNT championship. Having troubles? Yeah, I am. Yeah, correct. We are eyeing any gold in AEW, but specifically right now, we're trying to get that TNT title to American top team in the men of the year. Okay. And, and, and oh. that's that's the part I don't get. You guys, here's a cover. Only a one count that time. You wow, guys look at the speed and the execution. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Just, just <laughs> razor beautiful. blade the eyebrows right off of him. Yeah, it's right across the eyes. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to get your eyebrows plucked. Just wrestle Scorpio Sky. Yeah, man. Who also has perfect eyebrows, by the way. Yeah. Well, that's you guys good. are the men of the year. You're all well groomed. Yes, we actually groom each other. Now, I have a question for you, all you go, Ethan Page. Sure, sure. You guys win the TNT Championship. Yeah. You're a tag team. That doesn't matter. A win for Scorpio is a win for me. A win for me is a win for him because it's a win for ATT. It's a win for the men of the year. That sounds so good in theory, but very rarely have I seen that work out in life. Well, hey. we'll find out because it's definitely going to happen. Okay, I want to get this question out. Oh, oh explain my. to me. You guys are so athletic and so yes. talented. Correct. What's the deal with Dan Lambert? What do you mean, what's the deal? We weren't but getting you what it? we deserved in the company until Dan showed up and started speaking on our behalf and started ruffling some feathers and getting us title matches and big pay per view. Ruffling feathers, I get it. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's I right. understand that, but just in, in smart, protect yourselves as talent. Just read the fine print if you guys signed a contract with yeah. Dan Lambert. There you go. I appreciate the advice, but uh, he was the one that got me the two TNT title matches. Not yourself, Paul. No disrespect. Please don't punch me. Well, no, I'm not going to punch you, brother. I, I got it. You know, the guy gave, uh, created an opportunity. If you get an opportunity, understand that. I'm just telling you through experience, those that come presenting good things for you necessarily, those aren't good things to have. You know, read the smart, read the fine print. Scorpio Sky is attacking this young man with everything he's got. I, I don't know, guys. I think that uh, Scorpio is doing a little bit like what we thought about Bobby Fish. He's carrying him for a second. He's just he's just playing with his food. Right now he's imposing yeah. his will. I wouldn't say playing his food because Scorpio Sky is a guy that's very aggressive. But oh, he's yeah. sending a message right here to future opponents. This is how he controls the tempo. By the way, thank you, Mark, for changing the subject. The uh, Dan Lambert slander wasn't really sitting right with me. Come on, he looks like somebody's dad that yeah. got lost on yeah. the way to buy milk. You guys, let's be honest. honest. You guys, oh. wow, look at that. Whoa, what what a I didn't like that move. No, Wolf. No, 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 wow. no, 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 no. Look at Wolf showing he has a reason to be here in AEW. Oh, right, cheer for this guy, you. Chicago. Steve and Wolf. This, man. All right, Wolf. Wow, look at that. Oh, quick oh, answer. Oh, man. Look at the answer. Look at the retort. Yeah. That's that MMA training right there, baby. Wow. The straps came down, the imaginary straps. I feel like we're going to see something that we've seen before. Uh, well, good night. Mm -hmm. It's been a nice little ride. Wow. wow. And there it is. Well, he snaps that cutter in. Cancel Christmas. Oh, oh whatever. Perfection. Match. Scorpio Sky. Paige, I know you like that. Look at you. They got a little dance yep. going. Yep. Don't interrupt my dance, Mark. But yep. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't, didn't mean to step I'm on. I'm feeling it. I'm you. Look right here. Big boot by Scorpio Sky. Watch the effort that he puts into snapping that cutter on Stephen Wolf, driving him right into the mat. Slithers over like a snake for the cover. Dan Lambert is standing there admiring the work done. Dan Lambert's lost.
Coming up next in women's competition, Julia Hart. This contest is set for a ring ball with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Bloomington, Minnesota, Julia Hart. Every time I hear her music, I think of Ricky Bobby. Why do you got that wildcat in the back seat? <laughs> <laughs> Riding with a cougar? Riding with a cougar. You know what? I uh, had a chance to uh, spend a little time talking to Julia and. Uh, well, let's go to Justin first. And her opponent, Ari Alexander. Ari Alexander, opponent. Uh, Julia's got a little bit of an attitude. And really? Yeah, which is good, right? Uh, ever since she was sprayed in the eye by Malachi Black, she has, like, become well, more aggressive about her future, I think. Well, it, it's, on one hand, it's a little bit of a shame, you know, that she went through that where she has to wear an eye patch. Now, right. So I'm sure that changed her psychologically quite a bit yeah you know, it's going to make her more aggressive you know this is uh, this probably in a in a little sense of term it got real real quick if that makes any sense right well we also when you feel like something is taken away from you you, you get a more of a hunger and appreciation for sure. what you do have yeah you get aggressive and I think she's yeah. seen that you know what i need to enjoy this while i can See, look at this. See what I'm talking about? That aggression's good for Julia Hart, though. Yeah, she's got yeah. that great athletic oh background. This, she's like a different person. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna, like basically, that that pissed her off. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, sometimes it takes for something traumatic to happen before somebody have uh, the, the real them come out. Now, maybe this is the, this is who she really is. Well, of course, obviously, it, it is not easy. I mean, I, to, to wrestle with an eye patch on. Oh, your depth perception's off completely. Yeah. But she took the match recently with Jade for the TBS title, and Griff Garrison of the Varsity Blondes tried to talk her out of that, and she just basically snapped at him. Wow, you see that scorpion kick? That's, that's that flexibility, that cheerleading background that Julia Hart has. A standing moonsault, backflip. That was just impressive. Incredibly athletic. She really is athletic, and here's something that's going to blow you guys. Mine, she's only 20 years of age. 20 years. 2 0. <laughs> I got socks older than her. Wow, man. Here she comes, and. Keep that to yourself. Well, I mean, they're good socks. They're wool. They'll last a lifetime. They're trying to run a running bulldog, and. Wow, into a split. Into a split. That's a move Mark and I would only do once. No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it once. <laughs> Boy, she's cranking up. Look at Look this. Look at that. Look how she's got it cranked and oh, locked in. Man. That shin bone right across the throat. The winner of this wow. match, Julia Hart. Very aggressive, Julia Hart. Very focused. Hey, man, I, I'm going to tell you something. I know this is going to be a little off kilter, but she makes that eye patch look really good. I'm trying to say, I wouldn't look that good in an eye patch. No, you would look like a big old ogre with one eye. Standing boot salt, a big old ogre with one eye. Well, I've been called worse. Determination on her face and a great win for Julia Hart on Elevation. I'm next on Elevation Singles Competition. Aaron Solo from the factory goes one-on-one -on -one versus a human highlight, Dante Martin. This fight is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Being accompanied by Nick Camarado from South San Francisco, California, weighing 196 pounds, Aaron Solo. I'm telling you, every time I look at Nick Camarado, I just think, what a monster. Big cannonball shoulders, like the old thing Arnold said. Cannonball shoulders, trapezius, giant biceps and triceps. Wow, you did that pretty good. That not was, bad, huh? I can do an impersonation there. That's very good, man. Let me Solo. tell you something, brother. So there you go. Man, look at Solo. Solo is, oh, look, this is ridiculous. You spent all that time 
That's making just a kind poster of a, and then you snatch it and tear it up. That's kind of a bully move, but what are you going to do when a guy like Nick Camarado steals your poster? Hey, ain't nothing you can do but just no, chalk it up as the game. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 205 pounds, Dante Martin. When you talk about star power, Dante Martin. In all my years in the business, there are very few people that come along, if anyone, that has the athletic ability this kid has. He's amazing to watch. What a nice, nice kid backstage, too. I say kid with all respect, too. I'm just saying because he's young. But man, is he amazing. Man, that guy can fly, man. He sure can. Now and then, I've noticed something about him as we've moved along here through the months at AEW. He always has had spectacular, athletic, exciting abilities, but he also, you can just see the confidence building, can't you? Confidence yeah, oh is building, God, yeah. yeah. This, this kid's a major player. He's just growing into it now. This is like if you were watching somebody like Tom Brady as a rookie, not to throw that out because it's popular right now, but you can tell talent like this younger and where they're going to go in the future. You know, God willing to stay healthy and all that. This guy's going to be an international star. Listen to that. They love him. The fans love him. And when you, when the crowd chooses, that it's a win-win. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. You don't have to shove him down your throat. He, he's he's the, yeah. the people chosen. He doesn't need the machine to push him. We're coming to you on Elevation this week. By the way, Tony Schiavone and Paul White and the very dapper, the very dapper. Mark Henry. I know Mark Congress. Henry's dressed up like he's running for Congress I over know, here. Man, you got a little. Are you vote red for tie? me, and I will give you brisket. <laughs> well, you got my vote. Pocket square in, monogram cuffs. Wow, man, he's just. He's on top of he's it. He's on top of his game, man. Hey, man, you got to look the part. He's yeah. not kidding. Look at this. Nice reversal. You know, Aaron Solo, he just took that high, high bill. But he's also got a lot of athletic ability in his own right. Sure he does. Sure he does. The only thing, the only thing in Aaron Solo's problem that's holding him back right now is he's hanging around QT Marshall. There you go. I knew you were going to say it. that. <laughs> Aaron Solo is one hell of a <laughs> talent. We both thought the same thing. We all did. What, QT just really under your skin, huh? Man, I mean, you know, good for him. Say, he's say it with your heart. Say it with your heart. Mar he's a waste of oxygen. <laughs> I don't know how oh to explain my it. God. There's Remember, a lot. There's a lot better people that should be in his position. He just lucked into it, and and uh, good for him and great for him and all that stuff. But my problem with QT is he's making a lot of bad influence on a lot of younger talent that could really use some support, and QT's not the guy to give it. One of my fondest memories of AEW and our short history is QT going up to the choke slam and coming down. Oh and man. The hand yeah. That's it. It's a high ride to the top, followed by a sudden stop. There it is. And over the top. Oh, oh watch out now. I, I, you could see that was going to happen. I knew that was yeah. coming. That's kind of a little bit of a rookie mistake on Dante Martin's part. Hey, you you got to clear your work area. Oh. Gotta clear. A little yeah. distraction right yeah. there. It works, yeah. man. Snuffleupagus caused a distraction. Ooh. Snuffleupagus. Oh, well, look at how them shoulders are. Come on, man. I remember Hyper. Fraggle Rock. Oh, that was, no, that was what, Sesame Street? Yes. Yeah. Stuff was love Sesame Street. Street. Yeah. I had a job then. I don't know. Hi, Bert. <laughs> you think that I could come over and play? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that impression? Yeah. It wasn't Arnold, but. No. Yeah, it was kind of creepy. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Oh, man, that's okay. how it sounds. And, wow, look at that. Eric Solo kicking him while he was down. Great move by Solo and a lariat. Hooked a near leg and got a two. I would say that'd be ring experience on Solo's part. You know, if you see an opportunity to take a shot, take it. You know, Solo again, I'm talking about Dante. Sometimes just... being younger, he, he makes mistakes yeah. just from being younger. Like, you know, if you're going to do some of that stuff, make sure your work area, so to speak, is clear. Like, you got a monster like Nick Camarado standing around. He's not standing around just to cheerlead, he's standing around to cause mischief. So. Solo's becoming a bit of a head case, you know, being around QT. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, it's about him. But he's still like the smooth side of Silk. He is smooth. There's no doubt about wow. it. Yeah. yeah. Guy should have his own shampoo commercial, too. A, a kick, and he goes on the floor. He comes back oh, up. Look at that explosive. To the ear. I love when Dante Martin gets fired up. The fierceness just comes through on his face. Pick up. There you go. Such intensity. Look at that face. He's feeling it. 
This is usually when he starts to fly. Yeah, he's powering him up. His, his power level's full. Oh, boy. Well, and the big guy just jumped right up and got in his way. I'm begging Paul Turner to bounce Nick Camarado's big hairy ass to the back. And from behind. Oh, Spinning in Zaguri. One, two. Caught him oh. in the back of the head, and it almost won the match. Does he have purple highlights? Uh, I thought they were blue, but I think I, they were blue. I think the match is tight. I don't know. I don't have any hair. I guess I could dye my beard blue. That might be kind of Yeah, weird. I think you should. No, I don't think I will. What about think, you, Mark? Think I don't think that was sincere you know, advice for me to one of you. dye your beard, Mark? The blue is for you. Uh, you guys are so. Oh, look at that dye! Human highlight, Dante Martin! Little page suicida blocks that. Got out of the way of the shoulder block, and Dante is up on top, perched. There he goes, in a gigantic moon salt over. And we're talking about ring awareness. No winner of this match, Dante Martin. Dante Martin was eyeballing Nick Camarado down. Like, I know you're not gonna jump me from behind, sucker, I can look you right in the eye. Good job, Dante Martin. One half of top flight and soaring to the top. Next, an eight-man tag. The Gun Club teams with the acclaimed to take on Lee Johnson, Brock Anderson, Matt Seidel, and Lee Moriarty. This is an eight-man tag team match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing the team of Lee Moriarty. Matt Seidel, Brock Anderson, and Big Shotty Lee Johnson. As we get ready to go with this uh, eight-man tag team match, I want to remind you that we are coming to Columbia, South Carolina at the Colonial Life Arena Wednesday, March 30th. Tickets are on sale now at AWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. March 30th? Yeah. That's my hometown, South about Carolina. That? Got a South Carolina. I'll take you to get some barbecue in Columbia. Oh, I thought you wanted to die, but now you want to go get some hash. Well, I'll get some real barbecue. I'm not going to get that stuff you're talking about. South Carolina knows real barbecue. We had this talk. Uh, here we go. And their opponents first, Austin and Colton. Good. Wow, my heart breaks. My heart breaks, Tony. I know it does. The attack they, they perpetrated on you for no reason. At some point, they're going to have to grow up. I doubt it. They're dead. And their partners, the play. Yo! Yo! Listen! Listen! Yo! 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 If you think you can beat the acclaimed, you better wait. You must be higher than the Chicago murder rate. Wow. Yo, I hit you with the right hook. Have your eyeballs plug out like Lori Lightfoot. Yo, look who's in the ring. If I gave him the mic, yo, they wouldn't say a thing. So maybe take a speech class, boys. You getting roasted by acclaimed and the ass boys. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. You can't yeah. call him that. Yeah, but I think that's what they're called now, the ass boys, aren't they? Oh, they, they, they made it weird. They did that weird thing. Damn. Uh, they made it why weird. Why did I have to see that? Uh, that's in your mental Rolodex forever now. You're welcome. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little. All right. Uh, Big up? Shotty Lee is stunned by everything that just happened. You see the look on his yeah. face? He's like, yeah, what did you know, I just see? You gotta get that, tuck that lip in and get it caught on a tripwire. Matt Seidel's a little upset about that. My one remembers a wrestling match. Well, if anybody's gonna remember as a wrestling match, it's Matt Seidel. That's one of the most tenured guys in the ring. And I mean, he can is there the anything you can't do? No, you're no. right. Look at that. 
Anthony Bowens, though, is a, just a phenomenal athlete, guys. Five sure two player. Five two player. He could look at this. Wow, we got some great action right off the bat here between these two. All right. And here comes Lee Moriarty. They got two Lees in the corner. How about that? Moriarty and Johnson. Oh. And Moriarty, boy, Moriarty in a short period of time has been so impressive. He's got a couple of wins on AEW Dark. Now here he is on elevation, this eight man tag match. And now Platinum Max Caster, who never lacks for something to say or to rip on somebody or some city or some community. Or Oh, look at that by Lee Moriarty. Oh, he saw the tape on that arm. He, he went sure to it. That's a smart move on Lee Moriarty's yes, part. Yes, it I've was. said that. A lot of these guys come in with that trainer's tape on to help with an injury. To me, it's just paying the target on it. I'm old school. You don't sell anything, bud. Don't put a target on your shoulder with a bunch of tape. Paul, I'm with you on that, buddy. If I'm in the ring and I see a shoulder taped up or an elbow or a knee, I'm going to go for it. A little argument going on with Billy Gunn and his sons here at ringside. Meanwhile, uh, Max, Max Castle, man, look, you can start to see those abs poking out. Brock wants a little bit of Austin Gunn. Well executed. Love to see Brock wrestle. This does so many things. You can tell who influenced and taught him, inspired him. Hell, who, who created who, him? Who Arn Anderson. Oh, he does look like Arn. You think? And a tag and oh my God. Comes There's nobody in. that ever looked more like anybody else than Brock no, man. does Arn. Oh yeah, I know. He cusses it. He cusses Arn every day for that too. His wife had nothing to do with that kid. Okay. And well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say, say sure. that. Oh, watch out! Nice right hand by Colt. Colton Gunn. Wow, he snuck that right in Moriarty's cheek. Oh, look at the aggression! It's by Colt. Yeah. Colton's in there trapped Moriarty into the ropes. Use a five count to his advantage. Just teed off on Moriarty's chin. Don't get caught up in the crowd. Try to win, young fella. No, good call there, Mark. You're exactly right. He's going to give Lee Moriarty a chance to recuperate. And he he's distracted. These people calling him ass boys, and he's distracted. And he's angry. Yeah, they have gotten pretty angry. I gotta say it. Tag is will get the tag. Max Castro will come back in. He tried to tag his brother, but Max Castro is like, ha ha, I got in, and it's not funny. If I'm trying to tag my brother, I don't I don't want to tag you. Lee Moriarty and his shots to the lower rib. Yeah, trying to fight his way out of this corner here, and it's He's in harm's way, and now here comes Anthony Bowens. Anthony Bowens has become the heater. Oh, he's yeah, he's he's always been in that team. I mean, no, Mass Caster is no slouch, but Anthony Bowens, every time he comes in, he applies every bit of that athletic ability, like full throttle kind of attitude every time. I mean, this dude runs on so much intensity. It's like he had 30 cups of coffee before he came to the ring. They wear it again. They did it. They did that. That's their thing. That's their thing. You just got to go with it. Your mark two count that time. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, don't have to. What do we know? It's probably cool now. Cobra Clutch applied Come on, here. Well, let's try it then. Let's just. I'm good. I'm good. But my, uh, I'm good. Okay. Your hands on your side of the table, sir. Thanks. Hey, I'm in between you guys. Okay, so here we go. Watch out. Lee Moriarty trying to get to his corner. You no. like the cream filling Cut between the Oreo. Oh, oh, right, right in elbow, a punch, another elbow, and a super kick. Wow, Anthony Bowen's just really highlighting that athletic ability. Man, he is on top of this game right now. Lee Moriarty's got to do something. He's got to work towards getting to his corner because they cut that ring off show. Well, they were taught by Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn's an experienced tag team competitor. He knows cut the ring off. Max Caster and Anthony Bones are also experienced tag team competitors. They understand. Cut the ring off. Moriarty knows he's in trouble. He's trying to clean up, uh, make look, a tag out. Come on, come on, come on. It's so close right now. Bowen's got the he's foot. He's got to make the tag. He makes the tag a big shot. Big 
Bloodshot for the first time in this match comes in, and he comes in with a reckless abandon. Oh! Whoa! Look at the quickness of Lee Johnson. Man, he is slipping like a slip and slide. You remember the slip and slide? Yeah, the cutter to boot. We well, is feeling that. Whoa! Thank you for coming, Almost Max ran Castle. right in Aubrey Edwards. Nope, not today. Back elbow by Johnson staggers Austin Gunn. Picks him up. Oh! Plants him. Oh no, here we go. Look how quickly he gets up top, but not quick enough than Anthony Bowens. Did you Mitty. see how high he just delivered that kick? That's that athletic ability of Anthony Bowens. And speaking of athletic ability. Oh. Looks like Matt took the worst the end of that. Colton is big and strong like his dad. He sure is. Yeah. And Brock. Oh, Brock is smart like his dad. Out. DDT that time and faked him out. And Max Castor comes in with a big thrust kick. I ripped Brock's head off. Nope. Not today. Hey, Johnson ran in. Back got, well, well, they got the chain now. Hey, Aubrey Duke. Got the chain, but Lee Johnson got rid of it. And Lee Johnson got the chain in his hand. One, two. And Aubrey now sees the chain and gets rid of it. Meanwhile, a wild swing. And that was the boom box. Colton put the boom box on the head of Lee. One, two. And he's got the tights to boot. Here are your winners. The Acclaim and the Gun Club. Well, there's a lot going on in that match. Yeah, that was a lot of love. There were right chains, there. boom boxes. Ring hits without tagging in and out of the ring. You know, if those guys were in the car, you'd have to have four steering wheels for everybody to be able to drive. <laughs> there you go. See, hit him with the deal. Right on the head there. Hit him with yeah. the deal. Yeah, Lee Johnson's going to have to take a concussion test after that one. Hell of a match, though. A lot of action. Good night for the ass boys and the acclaimed. That's the gun club, I think. Oh. Tag team action with best friends and Chaos Project. Hey! This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching oh the ring at a combined weight of 430 pounds, Luther Serpentico Chaos Project. You know, it's nice to see Luther back on TV. No, it's not. Sure no, it's you, not, You know Tony. where Luther was, don't you? Say something, Tony. No, you know where Luther was. No, where? Luther was in Egypt, and they were exhuming a tomb in Egypt, and they needed to bring in a body expert and Luther had the qualifications to go over there and do part of the unveiling of the tomb and the identification of the mummy. And I'm not lying. Maybe For a little bit. the first time <laughs> in your life. Oh, you're lying? And they're yeah, lying. accompanied oh, by Chris Statlander. I don't like you At a no combined more. weight of 418 really pounds, Chuck Taylor, Trent Beretta, Best Friend. Great to see kind of a professional body would ever ask Luther's opinion on anything. Well, I don't know what his other qualifications and expertise He's crazy! Is. Can't you look at him and tell? Well, that, that would be crazy to fly it all the way to Europe to go look at a dead body. Egypt. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, started with an E. <sighs> all right, well, we've got best friends. Good to see Chuck and Trent back together. And Love and seeing best friends Chuck and Trent yeah. back together. And I tell you, Luther is the, one of the more bizarre humans that we have ever called a match with. I, I'm telling you guys, like, you know, I didn't miss him being gone because I was like, wow, Sprintico might make it. Uh, you know what, I, I tell you, at first, Luther really creeped me out. But I'm really starting to appreciate the partnership he has with Serpentico. I used to feel bad for Serpentico. Serpentico was doing the same stuff to himself when Luther wasn't here. Yeah. So they're made for each other. Think about the athletes we have here in AEW that just genuinely uh, 
not only maybe creep you out, but just are bizarre in nature. I mean, obviously, Luther comes to the top. We've, we've seen the bunny in the show. Abaddon is one of them. Dan Housen's here now. And my well, gosh. There's Housen. a lot of unique characters yes. that get the right to express themselves. It's not your cookie cutter stamp wrestler. Here's performer A, B, or C. Right. These guys are all unique personalities, which makes AEW unique and wonderful. Very well said, Paul. Very well said. And both men, their best friends, little handshake, and they both put the elbow drop right on Serpentico. Cover. One count. I got to admit, though, Trent's tights are so flashy, I'm getting a little vertigo looking at him, trying to keep up with him. There's a lot going on there. Or Serpentico. And a drawer full of knives, he's a spoon. Man, he just turned his back and postured to the crowd, enabling uh, Trent Beretta to get the lead here. And there's a forearm shot to boot. And Luther's saying stuff, and I don't think it's English. It might not be. You know, he does speak four languages. It's, it's, he's speaking in I'm tongues. not believing nothing you say now. You, you, there's nothing that you can say that, it, that makes me think, oh, Luther's smart. No, he's speaking in tongues is what he is. is what they, okay? <laughs> You know, some churches do that, right? Fool me they, once, they, shame on me. <laughs> Fool me twice, I kick you in the face. <laughs> well, don't kick me in the face. And running through that time, here comes Trent Beretta up on top, a tornado oh! DDT. Well executed tornado DDT by Trent. So Pentagon can barely get to his feet, just floundering around. And here comes Trent. Oh, kind of lured him in that time a little bit, well, didn't he? Well, I think Serpentico runs around this constant state of uh, confusion. Okay, and that big boot on the outside from Dr. Luther. We have got One of the original death match guys, right? Yeah, you're not kidding. You're talking about tough and innovative and uh, groundbreaking. A lot of the things that that scare a lot of people away from pro wrestling, uh, Luther started. Back to the attack, he's just relentless here. He's saying stuff, it's not English. Well, I can't, he's... Well, you know, it could be a form of Latin, it could be a form of ancient Greek. Oh, so now he speaks Latin. No, I know, he was saying, get up top yeah, there. he was saying, get up the top. Yeah. I think you're gonna be very surprised to know that Luther is actually a linguist part. A linguist. Yeah. Oh! oh my. I don't know who that took looked the worst like it of that. would hurt Serpentico more than it hurt wow. Trent. Oh, Serpentico's yeah. always stole up. Serpentico just stumbled into a penny that time. Like, if you could have put a picture of a pinata in the dictionary, it would be Serpentico. <laughs> and here's a double team from Chaos Project. What do we got here? Oh, damn. They're going to do, they're going to hug. Got to give the bizarre people what they want. Well, they didn't. Oh. There's a hug and a shoulder right into Trent's stomach. All right, Mark, I gotta agree, that creeped me out too. And that high pitch baby voice just is a little creepy. Wow. Almost like there was a bad accident with a pair of scissors or something. Missed it, Serpentico, and Trent Beretta comes out chopping away. But Trent is in a tough place, man. He's in no man's land. So they got the ring cut off. Moving out of the way, and a backhand chop. But he's nowhere to go. Trent, though. Grab the tights. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of the undergarment. Wow, how about that? That kick right in the, in the ribs and the shoulder blade. Serpentico just didn't realize it, but he's been tagged in, man. And I don't think he wants to get in. I, I don't either. I don't <laughs> think he was, like, really wanting to he do that. He wasn't really ready for this. Oh, no. No, yeah. no, 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 no. he's uh, telling him no. Yeah, but this is what anyway. he signed up for. Slam oh, me. He, did he say slam me? I think so. Yeah. I understood that. That was English. Yeah. So he's going to slam him. Oh! My oh. God. Good try, kid. Yeah. Didn't what, work. What just, what just happened here? The slam was Trent Beretta slamming Dr. Luther, and now he needs to bring Chuck in desperately. No. Oh, right on the back of his head. Poor Spentico. Toughest guy in the AEW. There's the tag. And here comes Chuck Taylor. 
He'll take care of both big boobs. House of fire. Man, kicking with both feet. Feet for everyone. Chuck Taylor hooks him up. gentlemen. He does spinning sit out power bomb. One, two, and Luther causes the break. Wow, look like Luther crushed uh, Chuck Taylor's ribs on that one. Shoot that boot looked really in the short rib, kind of hard. And now Serpentigo. I love short ribs. <laughs> Luther trips up Chuck on the outside. Yeah, there you go, Rev. Come on, don't, Rev. Don't, 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 don't punish anybody. Just yell at him. There you go. Oh, wow. 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 You could hear that one. His that head shot. Bombed like the bell of Notre Dame. Jawbreaker. Tag is made. Quasimodo. There you go. Knee. Oh, a little soul food oh. action. Gave him that meat and defeat. At this point, poor serpentico has been through so much. Got to give the people what, what they want. Thank you, Paul. Oh, this could be. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh! I can't One, look. Two. Is his head still three. on? Three. His head's still on. There are your winners. Best friends. Barely, but it's still on. Jeez. Don't forget, we have Dark coming up tomorrow night. Wednesday, live from Atlantic City. It is going to be Dynamite on TBS. And then Friday night on TNT, it's Rampage for Paul White and Mark Henry. I'm Cody Shimani. Thank you for being Goodbye, with us. Goodbye, guys. On Elevation.